video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain about the rotate and resize command. So first, I'm going to draw a corner rectangle here. I like this. And now click on the rotate and resize command. And now I'm going to move my rectangle in the graphics area. First, click this pointer here and just drag it like this around the graphics area. And when you're satisfied with your position, just release it. And your rectangle gets moved to the newer position here. And you can also scale, rotate your entity by just click drag and rotate like this. Or else you can just uh, scale your entity just by click this pointer and just dragging like this. You can also move, rotate and resize by providing some values in the above. First, I'm going to provide uh, some angle to rotating angle to it. At first, I have to select my uh, reference. I'm going to select this point and line as my reference here. And now I'm going to provide some value of 45 degree. And you may see that my rectangle is rotated about an angle of 45 degree with based on this point and reference. And now I'm going to scale my entity. Let me provide some value here. I'm going to give five. And uh, you may see that my entity is scaled by a scaling factor of five. And uh, I'm going to undo these commands right now. And now I'm going to explain how to move your entity by providing value here. First, you see that this is the parallel symbol that is parallel to a reference. And this is the perpendicular symbol that is perpendicular to a reference. First, I have to select my reference here. I'm going to select the right plane as my reference entity. So this is my right plane here, and I'm going to select it. And uh, you may see that my right plane is my entity here, reference entity here. And uh, I'm going to provide uh, to move it in a vertical direction here that is uh, parallel to the right plane. I'm going to provide value in the parallel term. You may see that my entity gets moved in a vertical direction that is parallel to my reference plane, which is the right plane. And uh, let me check here. And you may see that my rectangle gets moved here. So again, I'm going to click on the rotate and resize command. And again, I'm going to select uh, my right plane as my reference entity. This time, I'm going to move my entity in a horizontal direction that is perpendicular to the direction of my reference entity, which is the right plane. I'm going to add from same value of 45. And you may see that my entity gets moved towards the right I wanted it to move it in the opposite direction. So I'm going to add some negative value to it. I'm going to provide minus 45. And you may notice that my uh, entity gets uh, moved towards the left. And uh, that is perpendicular to the direction of my reference. Give a check mark.